Watch out Elon, Warren is catching up. With the drop in shares of Tesla this year, the market value of Berkshire Hathaway is hot on the heels of the electric vehicle leader. Berkshire, led by longtime CEO Warren Buffett, is demonstrating its defensive attributes in a bear market, with its Class A shares up 0.3% this year. Against an 18% fall in the S&P 500 Tesla stock is off some 35%, reflecting disappointment on vehicle deliveries and a pullback in growth stocks, CEO Elon Musk's pursuit of Twitter hasn't helped much either. You all know Warren Buffett, as an American business magnate, investor, and philanthropist. Despite his age, he is still the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. He is one of the most successful investors in the world and has a net worth of over $95 billion as of October 2022, making him the world's sixth wealthiest person on earth. In this video, we'll share some interesting and equally surprising facts about Buffett's thoughts regarding Tesla. Stay tuned till the end. Fact number 1, Warren has never invested in Tesla. CEO Warren Buffett is one of the most successful and well-respected investors of all time, and Tesla Incorporated is one of the most controversial investments on Wall Street these days. So, when Buffett sat down with Yahoo Finance for an interview in 2020, it's only natural that editor-in-chief Andy Serwer would ask Buffett about Tesla and its CEO Elon Musk. Berkshire has never invested in Tesla, but the company held $6.1 billion of Chinese electric vehicle stock BYD company ADR and $2.2 billion of General Motors company stock as of the end of 2021. When Serwer asked Buffett's opinion of Musk, Buffett chose his words carefully. Well, I think you're trying to bait me a little bit. He's done some remarkable things. Buffett went on to say that he has met Musk in person after Musk joined the Giving Pledge several years ago. The Giving Pledge is a campaign organized by Buffett and former Microsoft Corporation CEO Bill Gates created to encourage the world's wealthiest individuals to donate the majority of their wealth to philanthropic causes. According to Forbes, Buffett's net worth is approximately $113.6 billion, while Musk's is roughly $239.9 billion. I've only met him once or twice, but yeah, I've talked with him, but not for quite a while. Buffett said of Musk. But when it came down to the million-dollar question of whether or not Buffett would invest in Tesla stock, the Oracle of Omaha kept his answer short and sweet. Buffett said no. It's not surprising Buffett is not a fan of Tesla given he has always taken a value-investing approach to the market and shied away from high-growth stocks with high earnings multiples. Tesla investors shouldn't take it personally given Buffett has never invested in stocks like Alphabet or Netflix either. Fact number 2 Buffett has praised Tesla. Once someone asked Buffett about Musk in a 2022 interview, and Buffett praised his accomplishments at Tesla. I mean, Elon, didn't he's taking on General Motors, Ford, Toyota, all these people who've got all the stuff, and he's got an idea. And he's winning. That's America. You can't dream it up. It's astounding. Buffett said. As for Musk, he has been critical of Buffett in the past, once calling his value investing style, lame, on a Tesla earnings call. To be totally frank, I'm not his biggest fan, but he does a lot of capital allocation. He reads a lot of annual reports and accounting, and it's pretty boring really. Musk said of Buffett on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Fact number three, Warren would bet against Tesla. Musk told analysts in an earnings conference call last month that Tesla would be launching its own insurance product later in May. He said that Tesla has a direct knowledge of a person's risk profile based on the car, which gives it an information arbitrage opportunity. Buffett is not impressed, however. It's not an easy business. The success of the auto companies getting into the insurance business is probably as likely as the success of the insurance companies getting into the auto business. I'd bet against any company in the auto business. I worry much more about Progressive." Told Buffett to the shareholders at the Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting. About one-third of Berkshire Hathaway's business is in the insurance space and that includes Geico. Fact number 4. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway trails Tesla in market capitalization by less than $100 billion. Elon Musk's Tesla, which commanded twice the market value of Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway eight months ago, 
is now worth less than $100 billion more. Tesla shares skyrocketed more than 12-fold during the first 18 months of the pandemic, as retail investors awarded meme stock status to the electric vehicle company and wagered it would revolutionize global energy and transportation. Berkshire shares gained a comparatively modest 60% over the same period, as Buffett struggled to find bargains in a breathless bull market and many of his businesses were hit by forced closures and travel restrictions. The Upshot Tesla exploded past Berkshire in market value for the first time in November 2020, and notched a $1.3 trillion market capitalization a year later, roughly double Berkshire's $650 billion market cap at the time. However, Tesla's shares have plunged by 45% since then, slashing the company's market value to $707 billion as of Friday's close. Meanwhile, Berkshire's B shares have slid by a modest 4% over the same period, trimming Berkshire's market cap to $611 billion. As a result, the gap in market cap between the two companies has shrunk to about $95 billion today, and Berkshire even briefly overtook Tesla in late May. The contrast in the pair's fortunes reflects the brutality of the tech sell-off, and the resilience of value stocks such as Berkshire. Tesla's stock price decline underscores how rampant inflation and rising interest rates can be especially damaging to growth companies. Investors place less value on prospective future earnings streams when prices are jumping today, borrowing is getting more expensive, and yields are rising on safer assets such as bonds. Meanwhile, Berkshire stock has likely held up because the company's valuation is far less aggressive. It generated $32 billion in pre-tax profits from its operating businesses last year, and investors are hoping that Buffett will capitalize on the market downturn. Berkshire spent a net $41 billion of equity purchases in the first quarter, and has invested close to $2 billion in Occidental Petroleum in recent weeks. Tesla shares could well soar again, but for now it seems the momentum is shifting towards Berkshire, as investors seek a haven from the market turmoil, and back Buffett to strike some lucrative deals and buy high-quality stocks at a discount. Fact number 5. Warren tells Tesla's CEO to share less with the world. Elon Musk could share less with the world, especially on social media. So says Warren Buffett, a man with fewer than a dozen tweets to his name. That advice from the celebrated 88-year-old investor comes as Musk and the Securities and Exchange Commission faced a few years ago to agree on how the Tesla CEO may communicate over social media without violating securities laws. The dispute being heard by a federal judge in New York stems from tweets by Musk on his efforts to take his electric car company private, and whether he violated a later agreement with the SEC by tweeting with first getting clearance from a lawyer. Buffett told Yahoo Finance in an interview that he doesn't see the necessity to communicate. Asked for his take on Musk's behavior as a CEO, Buffett added with a smile. I think it is room for improvement, and he would say the same thing. And here is also a bonus fact for you. Elon Musk declared during the EV company's third quarter earnings call not to be like Warren Buffett. He said, I'm not an investor, I am an engineer and manufacturing person and a technologist. Musk was responding to an analyst's question about whether he would incorporate all his ventures, from SpaceX to Twitter, under a parent corporation. Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has built a large investment portfolio that owns everything from Dairy Queen and Duracell to Geico and Fruit of the Loom. But, much like a picky eater with a divided plate, Musk wants to keep his companies separate. He declared it would not be clear to him what the overlap is. It's not zero, but he thinks to be able to reach it. In Musk's eyes, he's a maker, not a shareholder. I actually work and design and develop products. We're not going to have a portfolio of investments or whatever. In other words, Musk thinks he's a totally different type of entrepreneur than Buffett. It recalls the makers versus takers debate of the 2010s, which centers around the idea that financiers are essentially moving money around, like Buffett, while others are actually building something that creates new businesses, like Musk. What do you guys think? Elon Musk versus Warren Buffett. Who is the best bet for your money? Whose advice will you follow more? Comment below to share your thoughts. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to keep us connected with you.